If you're entertaining over the long holiday weekend, you may be looking for some creative cocktail ideas and maybe some options for your designated driver. Yeah, May Fasai is joining us at Ink Eats and Drinks in Sacramento with a few colorful options for us. Yeah, Deirdre, we're getting all decked out here for the 4th of July here at Inc. Uh, Chad Gordon joined us now, bar manager here at Inc. in Sacramento. Got some festive things on the menu as far as drinks goes for the 4th of July holiday. Tell us what you got. Uh, well, first drink we're going to do is a uh, rosé sangria. And red wines typically are, are drunk in the wintertime, but with the rosé being chilled, uh, a little orange yeah. juice, some fruit, a little bit of brandy. Nice. It's a nice, like, sipper okay. for the, the hot days. All right, let's get pouring. Okay. So, so you got some fruit in there. Mm hmm Okay, I've got so. Honeydew, strawberry, and pineapple. Okay. And then I'm going to use the Charles Melton Rosé. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fill that up to about the halfway point. So why'd you choose this one? You said it's a little lighter. Yeah, you like that this one? is a... Uh, this rosé here, it just it has a nice flavor to it. So when you make a typical red wine sangria, it's going to be more rich because you're going to use Cabernet or, or something like a Malbec. But with this one, like I was aiming for something light and easy okay. to drink. Okay. Let's see how light it is. Mmm. Nice. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? Okay. <laughs> Next drink. Next drink. Uh, I was doing a rum punch. Rum punch. But I was incorporating absinthe which is most classically used in a Sazerac. Yeah, that has an interesting history, absence. Yeah, uh, Sazerac is considered to be America's oldest cocktail, so mm -hmm. celebrating America's birthday. Very nice. And independence, I was going to go ahead and use that, so just dump this out real fast. Put a little bit more ice in here. And so we're going to use Maui Dark Rum. Okay. Oh, that must be popular. Just a little bit left there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, one, that one flew through. And then uh, some pineapple juice, ginger beer. Ginger beer. Yep. Wow. And then hit it in the can real fast. Just to mix it all up. Okay, we've got to get to our red, white, and blue one. So, Chad, shake that up really quick. Pour that in there. we got one more drink for you guys, and you have to see this one. Because, of course, it is the 4th of July. So, Chad, let's hit it. we got just a little bit of time left. Red, okay. white, and blue. What's our last drink called? It's the red, white, and blueberry. Okay, let's do it. All right. What goes into it? What we're doing with this one is we're going to take blueberry vodka, a little bit mm -hmm. of lemon juice, and simple syrup. Blueberry vodka. Yep. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna, while Chad is making that, I'm just going to show you the finished product here. Red, white, and blue, guys. Happy oh, 4th of July it. to you everybody. Know what, do us a favor. Shoot it on your uh, iPhone. We'll put it on the web later so we get the full uh, Absolutely. And we'll be back with more right after this.